Welcome to PXP channel. If you like the videos, then please do not forget to hit the like as well as the subscribe button because that will motivate me to make many such videos. Also, your valuable comment will help me improve the content. So please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Until now, we have completed all the UI portion of uh, the Flutter application that we are building. And now on, we will focus on connecting to to the backend. So we will mainly deal with HTTP requests, and we will connect that to the UI that we have already created. In this episode, we will see how to send HTTP requests to our Spring Boot backend. We will start with adding the HTTP dependency in the uh, popspec.yaml and we will import everything. We will go to getemployees.dat file and uh, we will add the uh, navigation uh, navigator in the back button so, so that it goes back to the um, employee drawer when clicked. And this is the body that will contain the data that we are going to fetch from the uh, backend. So before that, let's create the employee model so that we will use this model to communicate with our backend. It will contain uh, three properties. One is ID, first name and last name. And this is the constructor. And we will use a, fact, a factory to create our uh, from JSON method. And this is used to convert uh, the content uh, from JSON to uh, employee model. Similarly, we will also convert it back from model to JSON object. So this is the two JSON method, which will convert uh, from model to JSON object. And you can not notice that uh, there is no differences in between single quote and uh, double quote in Flutter. So both are one and the same. So these are the um, getters for uh, both the fields. Right, we will now import the converter. And that will be useful to convert uh, the objects from model to JSON and uh, vice versa. Okay, moving back to the register employee.dat file. Register employee method is going to return a uh, future of employee model. and that will receive uh, three parameters that will be those are first name last name and context this is the url of the backend that we are going to hit uh, with the http post method and this is the this is how uh, we are going to 
post the HTTP request. Content type will be application slash JSON because Spring Boot will uh, expect JSON data, so we will convert uh, our object into JSON and send the request. So that is why we are encoding the employee object into JSON. This is how we do it and we will send this JSON object in the HTTP body. Right, this is how we call uh, our backend using HTTP and last thing uh, that is need, needs to be done is importing the HTTP dot dat. And we are storing the response body in uh, a string variable named response string and we will check the status code if it is 200 that is if everything is fine then um, we will send some pop-up i mean uh, we will uh, show a pop-up saying that uh, the employee was registered uh, successfully that is why this uh, show dialog method is used so we will mainly use that to uh, show the pop-up and the message will be backend response meaning the title will be backend response and in the um, body we will um, display that employee registered successfully let's create that pop-up or alert uh, dialog We are back in the get all employees dot dat file and we will declare a variable uh, named employees. And this future uh, will trig trigger the get employees method. This is the um, URL of the backend, and our backend will um, is running uh, on port 8080. And once we receive uh, the response, that will be in JSON format. So we are converting that JSON data into employee object uh, in order to display um, that information in the UI that's what we are doing here we are converting the JSON back into 
employee model. And uh, after converting, we are preparing a list, list of employees. Okay. So once the list is ready, we will return that uh, list. And uh, in the end, we will display uh, the list in the body of the of the Flutter UI. If the content of the response is null, then we will uh, simply display um, an error icon. Otherwise, we will display the content in in uh, the list view. That's why we are uh, building the list view dot builder. Under the title, we are going to display the heading and uh, then we will prepare the list and return it so that the formatted output uh, will be in a tabular format. ID, first name and last name. And let's create another uh, on tap method. So we are building this um, because once a user clicks on any of the um, records, any of the employee records, then that should be navigated to another page where uh, the details of that employee will be displayed and from that page user can either edit or delete that record so that is the purpose of uh, building this detail page
the first button is for edit and uh, later we will uh, create another button for delete edit is nothing but um, you know updating the record and if you can see that edit button is wed um, with the update employee method so that once that button is clicked uh, update employee uh, will be triggered and this floating action button is mapped with delete employee And as you can see that delete employee uh, method will be called from this button and this is where we are um, building the URL which will be uh, the URL of the backend for uh, delete, deleting um, the employee. this is going to contain this request is going to contain a an employee in the uh, request body and the content type will be JSON so as usual we will encode the employee meaning we will convert the employee object into JSON Right, our get employees dot that file is ready. We will save it. That's it for now. In next episode, we will uh, code the update and uh, delete employee uh, HTTP request. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, then please let me know in the comment section. And please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.